in the Nationals. I will. See you later. Because Dad knows tennis bores me. Bores? B-O-R-E-S? What? Why? Because you can compete without inflicting pain? There is nothing wrong with physical contact. <sighs> Builds character. Oh, yeah, and it also breaks bones, teeth, and other useful body parts. Yeah, well, only wimps get off on no physical contact. Wait a minute. What? Open the case file. What are you doing? Dick and Tracy, your next case. How'd you do that? No physical contact. That was the clue. I just used a voice recognition program and it worked. Jennifer Sanford, top seated amateur tennis player in the country. Last week she received what can only be described as a voodoo doll. A pin was stuck in his right arm. 24 hours later, Jennifer lost the use of her right arm. A voodoo curse? I see the girl bent under the pressure of competition and found an easy way out. Tracy? She's a real competitor. <laughs> yeah, well, even real competitors can crap out. Do your investigation, then draw your conclusions. Good luck. The doctors say it's all in my head, just stress from competition. But I know it's a curse, see? I can't move it. Look, I'm no expert in this kind of stuff, but maybe I can help you find out who's behind this. And then? And then we arrest him and he stops harassing you. You're just like my parents. You think I'm making all of this up. Look, all I know is you can't play tennis and you're upset. I just want to help. But who would want to hurt me? Well, I guess someone who really doesn't want you to make the Nationals. I've gone over and over it in my head trying to figure out who that could be. And I can't think of anyone. Well, have you noticed anything odd lately? Well, it's kind of silly, but I trimmed my hair over the locker room sink last week. It made a real mess. I went to get something to clean it up, but when I came back, the hair was gone. Um, I've asked everyone around here, and uh, no one saw anyone drop off a package for Jennifer. What about the security cameras? Did they pick anything up? Yeah, great. Right. Our, our system has been down for a month, so I don't think so. Any idea who could have possibly done this? Well. Jen is the type of person who has no enemies, you know? I mean, everyone adores her, even her rivals, you know? The only thing I can think is that it might be some crazy fan or something. Yo. Sir. They need you in forensics. Tell them five minutes. Boss be there 20.
Well, look, I want your opinion on something. Sir? Straight from the hip, no pussyfooting around. Okay. Do I buy everybody's theory that this doll was just some sick prank? Or do I accept the kid's version that she's the victim of a dangerous psycho who needs to be stopped? Well, uh, in my opinion. Well, that's what I want, honest and direct. I'm wide open. I would go with the voodoo. Are you out of your mind? I've decided I'm treating this as a stalker. Let's find out who it is. Sanford girl, cut down in the prime of her career. Imagine, voodoo, right here in Rockwater. Come on, Aunt Claire, you don't actually believe in that stuff. There are powers in this world beyond our understanding. Black magic. Cool. You know, no one knows how voodoo works. But the dolls need to include something from the victim. Like what? A fingernail, a lock of hair. Oh, this kind of talk will ruin your appetites. Dinner is in 10 minutes. Broccoli and Brussels sprout casserole. Hi. Did you take your medicine? I don't need to be tranquilized, Mother. The problem is not in my head. Michael called from the club, and he asked to take you for a drive tomorrow. You know, get you out of the house for a while. That's sweet. Well, it's none of my business, but if you ask me, he's got a crush on you. What does it matter now? No use to anyone. Listen, proper sleep and a few days rest, and you'll be fine. No, I won't be fine. You're right. I'm just tired. So do we make nice or be direct? Direct. We've checked out all of Jennifer's major competitors and this one's known to want her for breakfast. So if she's hiding anything, I think we're gonna have to force it out of her. Yeah, well for Jennifer's sake, I hope she's the one because after last night she can't walk without crutches. Doctors say her body can't take much more. Hey, how's the investigation going? Slow. Well look, if you need anything, just let me know. Thanks, appreciate the offer. Place isn't the same without her. Oh, come on in. We were just finishing up. Um, it's okay. We can, we can wait outside. No, no, I insist you stay. You might even learn something. Dick, Tracy, this is Jocelyn, Jennifer Sanford's main competition. Jocelyn was born and raised in Haiti, well-versed in Vodun, the proper pronunciation of what we uninitiated call voodoo. How do you do? Jocelyn wishes nothing more than to have Jennifer miss the Nationals so she can have a good chance of winning. I knew it. But she also confessed that she won't be competing next week because she's... Pregnant. Oh. Did I leave anything out? Off the court, Jennifer and I are best friends. But on the court, we're best enemies. That's the way it works, but I would never hurt her. Then who would? That's what I'm paid to find out. Thank you for your time. You're a witness, Counselor. Sorry to beat you to her, but you should never underestimate the law. Well, that covers that. Thanks. Yeah. Bye. Um, there's someone you should talk to. Her name is Marietta. She's a mamba. What? A high priestess of Voda. She knows everything. Just in time. I'm sorry, but who are you? Marietta. I got your message. I was in the neighborhood doing some shopping, so I figured I'd just drop in. Your Aunt Claire just left, but she'll be back in about an hour. Thanks, they look delicious. Oh, there's some more in the oven. I had to do some baking for my grandchildren while I was waiting, so I figured you want to know about your friend Jennifer. Yeah. She's been cursed. How do you know that? I'm old, but I read the papers. Um, 
We were told that you're a Vodun priestess? I'm a grandmother. What's it look like? Do you know what these mean? Uh, no. My dad traveled a lot. You just sort of bring him back. Now, things will be better around here. We were hoping that you might be able to tell us who put the curse on Jennifer. I know. You don't like my cookies? Oh, no, no, they're, they're wonderful, but just please, could you tell us who put the curse on Jennifer? Cursed are the cursed. What? Cursed are the cursed. What has been done can be undone. I'm sorry, but I, I don't understand. They're burning. Rockwater Winter Fair, sponsored by the Downtown Retailers Association. Hey, this is perfect for my school project. What? Mr. Daring will be online in 10 seconds. Thank you, Vern, but I'm sure I could use the help feature myself. Security procedures requires that any direct contact with your father must go through me. What's he paying you? Minimum wage, but with excellent benefits. Uh, Mr. Daring is now online. Hello, son. It's always nice to hear from you. <laughs> what? This is the first time you've heard from me, and only because you installed the new feature. Okay, listen, we got a lead from a Vodun priestess on the Sanford case, but we don't understand what she told us. Which is? Cursed are the cursed. That's it. Cursed are the cursed. Hmm. I remember an old Egyptian verse that said much the same thing. Since when have you been into the ancient thing? He who casts suspicion upon his brother shall likewise be cast. He who curses another shall in turn be cursed. So in other words, you reap what you sow. So you're saying Jennifer must have done something bad to someone who's now dishing it back to her? Exactly. Um, while I've got you online, any new information about the Chin Man? No, just what we sent you from Interpol. The man's a professional assassin, and he's wanted in five countries. Who's he work for? We don't know yet, but I emailed my cousin at Interpol and asked him to dig around a bit. I told him it was a school project on terrorism. Listen, I'm sorry to burden you two with this, but if I start digging around, they'll discover I'm still alive. Good luck. You asked me if there was something I'd done to someone that I regret. I thought about it a lot, and then I remembered. Go on, please. It was six years ago, a club doubles championship. I was teamed up with a boy I'd never met before. It was match point. I charged the net and we collided. He took a bad fall. I found out later that his ankle was broken and it never properly healed. He had a great future in tennis. I'm sure you didn't mean to hurt him. It wasn't my ball. I should never have gone after it. I just wanted to show everyone how great I was. You wanted something I did that was real bad? Something that could curse me the rest of my life? How about robbing someone of their dream? Do you remember his name, Jennifer? Do you know where we might be able to find him? I think it was Paul. He moved away right after that, and I forgot the whole thing. Until now. Come on, we haven't got a thing. They had to keep a record of 
club championship matches. <sighs> this is it. Paul Briggs. Perfect. Let's see what computer aging does for us. 14 year old can change a lot in six years. Yeah. I don't like the eyes. Can you change them? Give him a cool haircut? Yeah, try that. Michael could show up at any minute. You know, tell me something I don't know. You know, if uh, pro basketball doesn't pan out, you always have a future in petty theft. This guy's sick. No wonder he took all our hair clippings. What's that? after you. It's Michael Arsenal. Michael? We'll explain later. Just stay where you are and don't open anything. Michael's probably in the club somewhere on his rounds. Let's check the aerobics room. Michael, we gotta talk. Okay. Let's go talk. If you see him, scream. Great plan, Nick. <sighs> Do I scream now or wait till he tags me? Dick, I didn't mean for you to get involved. Okay, Michael. Paul or whatever, just end this now. No. Jennifer's gotta pay because she ruined my life. It was an accident. Get over it, man. No, she's gonna suffer just like I have. I don't think so. I think so. <laughs> Stop it, Michael. Stop it. Oh, Jennifer.
you. That was so selfish. Please forgive me. Glad you called us. Good work. It's obvious Daring's kid got in over his head on this one. He's cursed. So am I with him around. Way to go, Jennifer. Our new national amateur champion. You sure the curse is off? Yeah. Jennifer's apology broke the spell, just like the Mamba predicted. Yeah, well, Michael and I need to talk. Six years in Haiti studying voodoo are working way too well. The calves are killing me. Oh. Where's Bobby? We need to celebrate with a burger and fries. He's still working on a school project. He knows he can't set foot in this house until he's finished it. 